Good morning. It's Thursday, March 5th, 2009. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is the Morning Briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. It's Health Care Day in Washington today. President Obama is bringing over 100 people from a broad range of perspectives to the White House to talk about solutions to the health care crisis. There will be doctors and patients, business owners, insurers, Democrats, and Republicans to get the discussion started on solutions to fix the health care system. The president wants to pass bipartisan legislation on the issue within a year. Sudanese President Omar Bashir is balking at the International Criminal Court's indictment and calling it colonialism. He's reacting by expelling humanitarian groups from the region. At least 10 groups that were providing aid to Darfuri refugees have been forced to leave. President Obama calls them distinguished citizens, but our investigative reporter found out the president's economic advisory board is also made up of some large campaign contributors. The majority of the members of the board contributed to the Barack Obama for president campaign, and some of them may even have ties to the banking crisis. Former Bush advisors Carl Rove and Harriet Myers will testify to Congress on the firing of the U.S. attorneys. The mandate freeing Rove from testifying, but his lawyer says he now welcomes the deal. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for all your news and updates.